Hello, hello. It is me. It's time for the showcase. Hello, everyone. All right. We'll start in just a second. It'll it'll be a tiny bit poor quality since it's a 2004 run, but we'll get started with the first BK record recorded. 2004. Let's go. And start. Alright. Already you'll notice they're losing time because, uh, starting on file one. So there's half a second to lag. Isn't that crazy? Alright. This is the first ever recorded BK100% record. Wake up? Alright, let's turn the. Oh, yeah. I'll turn on the file one second. Uh, game. Alright, that should be better, I think. Wait. There. I'll turn the desktop audio down a bit. Perfect. Alrighty, we're seeing <laughs> quite a different Spiral Mountain route. This is not something that you would see modern day. Also, the fact that... Yeah, no rolling. <laughs> I should have had a... Hold on a second, I'll get the description out. This is a good description for this. Back then, I'm pretty sure... Um, uh, they always gave like a huge description for their entire run. Oh shoot, I forgot the title. I'll fix it in a second. Not done yet. Now they can get the <laughs> honeycomb. So this is basically just backwards from what we do now. The Spiral Mountain. In one second. Here's this bear running everywhere. Hell yeah, dude. Probably, yeah, go go. Alright. So, this is back when they kept track of segment time, right? Or, in-game time, my bad. So, this in-game time was apparently a 219 for Spiral Mountain. And, it's, that, that was actually really, really close to, um... <laughs> To the modern day bottle skip, the one that he did right there. Jumped from a similar spot, but I highly doubt that he was intending to do that. This route is from 2004. Oh, looks like he's not gonna skip the cutscene either. I didn't know that. I haven't watched this either. I haven't watched this run either. I didn't know that he doesn't skip the cutscene. It's really funny. Banjo's getting those steps in. This is kind of funny because they he skips the, um, the intro cutscene, but he doesn't skip this cutscene. It's kind of weird. He can skip this cutscene for sure because when he started, he had to erase his file first and then he started on file 1. But he was hovering over file 1 already. He just didn't skip this one. <laughs> for whatever reason. See, by now, at like 2.46 is when you would expect, uh, like the current record holder or whatever, to enter Mumbo's Mountain. <laughs> 2.24 Spiral, yeah, exactly. Equates to a 2.19 in-game time, isn't that great? And look at all this walking. No rolling yet. No rolling. So, in, in his, um run description he has a lot of random comments he says he's fairly certain that jumping in the open is faster than pure talent trotting if anything it's not slower i'm 99 percent certain that leaning, leaping up hills or inclines greatly increases speed but clearly he was he was a uh, in the mindset in the mindset of of optimizing his runs well, i'm not sure if he actually jumps in talent trot should have had the thing linked. Oh. 
This is basically the same general route that we do. So this is obviously no FFM, so it'll be more similar to the no FFM runs that we do now than it is to um, the FFM speedruns, obviously. The only difference is, well, the, the difference so far is that he didn't get any of the notes at the bottom of the hill. And also, he's not gonna do termite skip, obviously. Lag reduction, hell yeah. Nice kill. Oh, he's learning talent trial, let's go. Okay, yeah, so I don't think he jumps too much. Look at that camera control. He does actually grab the Jiggy in Talon Shot, which is good. Here only. It's only good here because when you grab your first Jiggy in Talon Shot, the text box makes it, makes it so you don't lose time. Because um, you don't have to leave Talon Shot like you would normally have to. Wow, this is actually like really similar note order to what we did like just two months ago or something. Dragon <laughs> True. Yeah. Some point. This is basically what we do for any percent. This this um note order. Actually at least the old any percent. The new any percent skips this entire conga section. Ah oh, damn, he missed it. <laughs> Thought he missed it. I think he's also doing isn't this the order that they do for Xbox? I think so. They do something similar to that on Xbox. I wonder if he's gonna do the overlap. Probably not. I wanted to showcase this run sometime, but I think I thought that today was a good day because uh it's right before the finals of the No FM tournament. So it'll be like because obviously this run is no FFM. It'll be like watching the first no FFM run, and then the most updated one right after to see a comparison, which is pretty cool. Also, I like that he stopped for a second there to skip that text. <laughs> that was pretty cool. It's actually cool. Be uh, it's actually cool because it might mean that he knows that he can't uh, hit Konga while Kong is talking. A hard he was even known. Yeah. Even though they don't say it anymore, I think. Look at him doing the baby conga strats, that's what I like to see. That method of shooting conga three times from there only loses like... One second. One, two seconds. At most. Okay, so there's no overlap. If you kill the termite in a certain way, uh, right after Tigger's Tower, then you can get that jiggy, that conga spawns, to overlap with the orange pad jiggy. Which is pretty neat. So this is also what they used to do. And this is what they did in the old route. In the current OFFM route, it's very similar to what we do um, in FFM 100%. But uh, the, the way we do it in the current OFF, no FFM route is what Trinan rerouted like a couple years ago, like two years ago, I think. This is more similar to the old route that they did in like 2015 or so. It's mostly the same, except for the fact that this uh, run is going to get the termite. Which means that it'll reroute a couple tiny things. Seems like it. Yes, the first, as far as I know at least, the first thing. Oh yeah, I have to change the title too. Look at that backflip on top of a... Uh, the double backflips, let's go. Uh, uh he's gotta shoot the middle... Shoot in the middle of the... of Juju. Ah, so he's leaving, he's leaving the rest for a... Uh, termite. Similar to... yeah, pretty similar to that. It's a mesh. Well, like, this... Level, you can only do it in so many ways. It's so small anyways. It can't be that different from what you normally do. Because... I don't know, it just logically wouldn't make sense for anyone. <laughs> cool. 
Google face. Yeah. Doggo boys. Alright, termite time. What the? Why was there no JJ sound for that? Hello? <laughs> that was weird. Uh. In the old No FM route, the one they did in 2015, they would have a chance of skipping the Jinjo Jig Jig uh, by taking the damage on the Grublin at the same time. That would have saved like 5 seconds or so. I wonder if this run was done on 1.1. Probably not. Obviously, uh, Termite Skip wasn't known back then. I believe Termite Speed is like the same as a uh, Banjo. Just walking, I think. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to know, because the only way you could tell if it's 1.1 or 1.0 in-game is if they do Soft Lock or try to do Termite Tower. 500, yeah, so the same as Banjo. Just walking. Okay, so I guess the underwater note says the Termite. That's not a bad idea. In theory, that sounds... Like a decent idea. Look at that 1045 Mumbas Mountain. Let's go. Although, I will say, like, a minute of that is probably from uh, that cutscene that we didn't skip. Wow, he jumped right onto that termite. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Ah, uh, good old Mumbas text. 1045. That's pretty crazy because. It's like three minutes. It's over three minutes. <laughs> Xbox troll is this faster, true. Oh, he didn't peck into this door. Because now he's gonna have to watch himself get out of time. Oh no, he's not. He lost. Oh wow, I, that's 100% not intentional. But he took a hit as the termite uh, on the way out like of Mumbo's Mountain by the other termite. And because he took a hit, Bottles gave him an extra text box healing him, which made it so that you didn't have to watch the talent trot animation. That's n there's no way that's intentional. <laughs> that's pretty neat. No Brentilda. That's interesting. Probably just yellows it. Nice pack. <laughs> With the severe lack of jumping. Alright, just getting this called in first. I don't think this is slightly slower, unless you do, um. Unless you do, uh, Clankers first, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna see all of the fake credits. Wouldn't that be fun? No TTC early, though, unfortunate. Yeah, it looks pretty decent for 2004. This was de this was recorded on VHS tape. <laughs> That's how they did it back in the day. Recording their speedruns on uh, VHS. They have 2D, yeah, makes sense, I guess. Alright. In the old method, that way it doesn't lose that much time. But it's crazy to think of how much was not known back then. Or how much we know now, I guess. Cause they're- oh, nice note. He's not gonna go back for that? Hello? <laughs> what? It's interesting. Back then there wasn't that many people, but he did thank a few people in his, like, description. He said, I must thank Brad Cyberrath Cutler. My right hand man. I don't know who that is, but someone who was around <laughs> back then. Didn't mention anyone else though, but shout out to Banjo Runner. Shout out to Marshmallow, the inspiration to every Banjo Runner in existence. First ever world record holder, setting the bar, setting the standard. There's your shout out. It was quite an interesting route. Okay, so. He's not gonna get the note now. This is, he's gonna have to press A, isn't he? Hello? Okay, he's just gonna land. That's not a bad idea, honestly. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back up. Interesting. 
gonna fly. Okay. <laughs> this is so weird. So weird not seeing him get the yellow Jinjo. So far it's somewhat similar. The foundation of the route is similar to what we do now still, but... There's just a lot of small differences. Is it to get the second gold? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't give Blubber his gold yet. Not yet. We'll come back to that eventually. He gets that token, eh? Okay. That is a token that we get today. That we get, like, in runs currently. Oh god, chill. Right. Okay, now he's gonna get the note. Did you see that turn in the air? He slid into the hole, and then his slide ended in midair, and he was able to turn right at the end. This is on pace for world record, yes. Alright. That's an interesting route. I can see why he would think that this is what he, he should do. But obviously no quick, quick dives. That was so weird not seeing a quick dive there, or even an attempt. So many minuscule things that... You just do without thinking nowadays. <laughs> he climbs all the way up for this token. We do still get that token in modern day runs. Just not that way. He does get good blubber on you, let's go. He's luckier than I am. This guy. On school internet, but the, the, the video quality is also like in the scuff, as we were talking about. No leaky skip though, unfortunately. But it actually doesn't matter too much right now because Leaky Skip only really matters a lot. Well, it, it does save time in isolation, but also it's at the end of TPC in most runs right now. Uh, which is bad if you fail it because then you'll have full health for the death hold. But A, it's not at the end of his run now. And B, I don't know if he's going to death hold. I don't think he's going to death hold. This might have been before that era. <laughs> It does look pretty good for a VHS, yeah. Some spots look pretty bad, but pretty decent. Doesn't think to peck out of Talent Trap ever. That's true, but I've seen a lot of people do that. I've seen a lot of modern day runners not peck out of Talent Trap when they want to leave. I don't know, I think it's something that... I think you just focus more on the route instead. Okay, so that note that he missed on the tree before he entered the first ship's hold. That was one of his comments. He said, I missed the note in a tree in Treasure Trove. I was amazed how little time was wasted with that. But I don't know if he, has he gotten it? I don't think he's gotten it back yet. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so he's not gonna death warp, obviously. If he was still active, he would have a world record. He would definitely have the most experience. You got it, okay. Before this building was standard, yep. <laughs> it is very different from the standard ones or current routes. Oh, he's going. Okay, he's jumping all the way here. This is something that uh, 8 bit actually timed. When Trinan and like a few other people were re like routing North of them uh, a couple years ago, it's something that 8 bit thought was faster to just jump into the water and go all the way there. Then he, he did that for a few runs, I think, but it ended up just not being faster. <laughs> the old way that we did was still faster. Hey, look, he's jumping! Let's go. No pecking out of talent up there. I wonder if he even knows the mechanic exists. We'll pay attention to see if he does that at least once somewhere. Damn, those stairs are solid, hello? That's better than, like, 90% of runners. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I failed. Alright. Not the worst. Oh, I thought he was gonna let go of Z there. If he let go of Z there right as he walked off, he would have gotten a quick dive. It's close. Close. I wanna see like an accidental glitch that we do today. Nice Jinjo. I don't think he did anything with BK, but he has done. Actually, 70 star. I think he held a 70 star record for a bit, which was just any percent back then. Actually, I don't know if it was any percent back then. I could be lying. 
don't know much about Mario, but I do remember that he did do SM64 as well. His time is in pool. This one just says Banjo Kazooie N64 single segment 100% uh, by David Gibbons. Picked out of talent draw. Oh shit, dude, let's go. So he knows the, the mechanic exists. Hopefully, we'll see it more in the future. <laughs> he also doesn't um, restart. Obviously, I, I feel like that wasn't implemented for a very, very long time. Probably not until over 10 years from, from the date of this run. Oh, no. It's getting bullied by Nipper. He did say that he was going to stick to the to the rules of SDA to make it in one smooth run in his, in his description. That's interesting. Alright, he's killing these guys to be safe. I respect it. He also said in his uh, description that he used game FAQs. <laughs> A guide for some assistant. <laughs> He said it's based off of the skeleton of a game FAQ guy that he has, and that his uh, <laughs> Rusty Bucket Bay route was almost 90% the same. That's pretty neat. I wonder if he was just reading off, reading it off the whole time. <laughs> the Prima guide instead. True, true. Challenge attempts. So. Oh boy, third flight section. How is this gonna go? Wait, okay, there's no token there, because he already got it. Dang, that was pretty sick! Did you see that? That was so cool! I didn't know that was a thing. That it's like a perfect height for you to just beat bust and get all three notes. That was dope, hello? <laughs> Pikmin 2, nice. Honestly, what a solid section. Can't complain about that. Where's he going with this? <laughs> Alright. Alright. I guess he just wants to use all of these. You can definitely make it up without having to use any of these shock pads. Most of them. Oh no guys, where's the last X? Where could it be? <laughs> you use all the shock pads. Yeah. I like it. I like how it was in his description. He said, uh, where'd it go? I have to say, Banjo Kazooie really stood the test of time. When it first came out in 1998, it wowed easily. And six years later, it still looks amazing. It's crazy hearing six years later, because now we're talking about like 20, over 20 years later. This is the, f uh, the first any percent? I have no idea. I don't have that information on it. <laughs> but the first any percent is probably very similar. He shot eggs on it? Hell yeah. First any percent was likely very similar because in normal casual any percent you have to get most of the stuff anyways. You gotta get like 810 notes, which we do nowadays, but you also gotta get like 94 jiggies as well. So it likely wasn't even sub 2 or sub 230. In three years, this run will be 20 years old, yeah. <laughs> it's older than Ad, than Ad, yeah. Exactly. Look at this walking. He, will, he understands that you can't use talent right everywhere. <laughs> Time to open clankers. Has he rolled once? Probably has someone. Two years older than you, damn. It's an old run. There he goes. Still no Brentilda. That's gonna be scary. Uh, going into Furnace Fawn. But I guess it is worth it, because obviously they didn't have a calculator back then, so if he wanted to talk to Brentilda, then he would have to write down all the answers. 
like all the answers, but at that point it's not worth for sure, so. He rolled to kill the sand because the crab's sick. Alright, time for clankers. He got the cauldron before TTC. So now he's just going straight to clankers. Basically the same- this is actually the exact same uh, lair section that we do right now in Nova FM with the Click Lockwood early route in the most optimal route. Literally the exact same because you also get this token. Did you see that? I like how he he was holding A there while he was falling so Kazooie's wings stood up like were above Banjo as he was falling. That's actually kind of cool how that their section was the exact same. Alright, he's just going over here. Yeah, so he's likely not going to death warp. <laughs> just just a tiny chance that he's not going to death warp. He's just going to come back and get those instead. <laughs> That'll be great to see later on. <laughs> but even then, I feel like you would expect him to get at least half of the nose. Maybe not, I guess, since... It would make sense not to, I guess. Unless you do the pipe jump, which he probably doesn't know about. Does get the bubble though. Wait, he doesn't get the bubble. Oh shit, how is that not close enough? Hello? <laughs> oh, that was the ghost bubble. That bubble that Gloop spawned right there, that's the bubble that you get right now in the advanced cycle. Yeah, it's uh, it's damageless strats. This is a mix of damageless, Xbox 100% no RBA, uh, no FFM 2015 or 2014. More. <laughs> Alright, clearly he doesn't have a route for the loop stuff. Oh god. <laughs> How many times is he gonna go around? <laughs> Wait, no, go to the key! <laughs> no! <laughs> go, please go through the key, man. <laughs> <laughs> Passed by the key like three times. There he goes, he did it. Let's go. He's not gonna drown. Keys are overrated, yeah. Yeah, true. He didn't want the cutscene, because he wanted to get the glue bubbles, but still. <laughs> One might say this one is suboptimal. Are you calling the world record on Optimal as of 2004? Hey look, he actually knows which way to surface, for his route at least. This is the way that we go in any percent. Look at this, this is camera manipulation. Alright, where's he gonna go? Is he gonna get this token? I bet, I bet, I bet he is. Oh my god, he almost missed that. Is he gonna go to the bolt now? No, okay, so he's... Alright. Probably gonna just, yeah, go all the way around. Look how he climbs all the way up. That was nice. He <laughs> backflips out of there. Out of that tiny hole right there. <laughs> Solid. Diving here, okay. Was this to get the blue Jinjo? Alright, alright. This is secretly a B button challenge, even though he's holding B right now. Oh no, this isn't where the Jinjo is, this is Jiggy, my bad. It's an interesting place to get it. It actually doesn't make it's actually not that bad of an idea. If he's not gonna death warp, then this is the closest place to get the Jiggy. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> he serves just to get some air. Alright. Now he's getting these nuts. Alright. He could have gotten these notes before he like went up all the way to the fin. 
That's what they do in 90%. That's what we do in actual 90%. Alright, now where is he going? Muty Snippets? Is he gonna make it? Yeah, he's gonna make it. Could be a more optimal. I don't know about that. Look at these lines. He's aiming for the top right of that tunnel. Optimal, man. Optimal. That's an interesting riding decision. I don't know where he's planning to go. <laughs> I don't know where he's planning to go after this. Oh god. He does those one in, two, in one beak bust. One left. <laughs> he has to look for it. Yeah, take notes. Nice try. He tried beak but he tried back flipping up there. He tried. Couldn't quite get there in time. Yeah, the all the all beak bust method. Oh, snippets too. Alright. Is he gonna do the tail jump? Nah. Especially not from this side. This side's much harder to do the tail jump from. Where's the bull? Damn. Can't even hear the bolt. Let's see, let's, see, let's see this cycle. Actually, he might go into the tooth. We'll see. Wait, isn't this? Oh, this is okay. This is the Jinjo. All right. What a unique route, dude. This is sick. <laughs> he turns around. What a god. Oh no, don't get this token. No! I was so hoping he was not gonna get this. That's a 12 second token. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a, what a, what a token. Uh, this tooth cycle, man. I'm telling you. Great. Token in the RBB layer. Honestly, maybe. <laughs> Imagine if he did the backflip beat bus for this. Alright, what rings is he gonna get? What is he gonna get for rings? I'm gonna say he's gonna get a 16. Is he gonna get? Come on. 11? 13? Oh my god, he's jumping in the water. Up! Up! Backflip! Hurry! Oh, he almost landed on the ring. Come on, come on, faster, faster, faster! You can do this! It's actually not as bad as I thought. Go, go, go! 18, 17, 16. Yes, I was right. <laughs> Let's go. Call it. That's pretty crazy. It's actually kind of interesting how I feel like people didn't backflip onto the ring for like several years. I actually saw a VOD of like the first 22 people someone got in a ring before and they were like so surprised but the thing that made them get it was the fact that they accidentally landed on the ring. <laughs> kind of interesting. Nowadays we get 24s. But what we can 10. It's crazy how much that's improved. Oh, he's not starting from the side? No, you can't get a 25 RTA. 
24 is the absolute best you can do, RTA. Even 23 is like super difficult. Where is he going now? Into the bolt? He's gonna miss the cycle! Oh no, he's just gonna wait, he's gonna go up. I guess he's gonna go up and then go into the bolt. Nice. Damn, look at this guy taking it so safe here. Holy, this is so safe. He really doesn't want to make any mistakes. It's easy though, you'll be quite interesting. Nice cycle. Oh, he misses. Alright, will he get hit here? That is the question. Uh? Yup. <laughs> Alright, it wasn't too bad. He got hit once. To do a run with this route. God, that sounds awful. <laughs> That'd probably be like a 215 or something. 220, actually. Yeah, probably like a. Actually, probably like a 225. This is basically glitchless. Oh, it doesn't even get the jiggy. Damn. Am I live? I am live here. On Banjo Race. Oh, he gold feathers for this? I guess so, but damn, son. <laughs> Get all these feathers, all of them. And gold feather back, that's right. <laughs> Damn, son, this token, this gold feather out is even more tight than current no FFM. That is crazy, dude. He's also gonna have to gold feather the flibbits. I wonder if he's actually gonna gold feather the flibbits in BGS. What if he does them as a crocodile? That'd be sick. Alright, he's getting this gold feather, I respect it. There's a rule that he didn't jump or back for battle. <laughs> oh god, he didn't get the yellow ginger yet, I forgot. <laughs> Just to do that on the way back. Right now where are you going? Are you going to... Is he finished clankers? Is it gonna be a sub 40 clankers? Crazy guys. This is insane. BGS2. <laughs> That'd be sick. At least he knows to jump flutter. This looks good. Alright. Which way is he gonna go up here? He's gonna have to go on to both pipes. Okay, he's going this way around first. Oh god, he almost slipped down. Alright, alright. He does know he can, he can walk under the chompers. That's actually really cool. That that was even known back then. You can just walk right under them. It's pretty neat. But I feel like that's not something you would know casually. And this run is mostly casual strats from what I've seen so far. That's... <laughs> that's, that's, uh... He got out of Talon Trot because he assumed that you can jump farther without Talon Trot. I think you can still jump, like, almost as far with Talon Trot in general. Alright. Okay, he's not walking under this one. That one can bite you a good bit. Nice accidental Gruntilda. <laughs> Why he pressed B there, I don't know. But he did talk to Gruntilda once. Easy and practical. I think it might have been against the rules back then. That Clanker's Cavern time was 12.58. I'm pretty sure the, we do it like 3 minutes faster now. I think more actually. 
Right now, RTA clankers is like 831. Yes, I'm I'm just commentating over this run. Ten minutes, so then you did do it faster than than needed here. <laughs> Because his in-game time was a 12.58, 12.58, but his RTA time is much slower. Oh, now he's gonna get the the switch switch. All right, it's not the worst place to get it. All right, <laughs> might wanna you might wanna might wanna hit it there. And he gets it during the cutscene. Let's go. Oh, now he's talking to Brentilda. What? Tuna ice cream, tuna. Engine. Don't be saggy. Oh my god, he got tuna engine saggy. He got the worst pattern. No, no, isn't it salted engine saggy? Or is it tuna engine saggy? No, it's salted engine saggy that's the worst. Never mind. Tuna engine saggy is actually not bad. That one's like, I think, eight patterns left. Either way, he doesn't have a calculator, so it doesn't matter. I wonder if he actually writes that down, or if he tries to remember it. When the game is released. Yeah. He's, he, uh, to be fair, he is at least using a game FAQ for his route, at least. <laughs> 13? Oh, okay. Been in the works for a while. Good old calculator. Hey, he does this, uh... <laughs> he does this section like... Wait, who does this section like this? Codel, B. Codel. <laughs> he does this section like B. Codel does. Where he gets the molehill first and then the crop does. Funny, haha. <laughs> Casual playthrough split, yeah, let's go. See, normally now, right about now is when you would expect to leave BGS in like a really good FFM 100% run. Or no FFM 100% run, sorry. A sub 42 BGS would be really good. But he also did get the Jiggy. The uh, Clanker's Jiggy. Pulling both of these guys, eh? He's getting the boots, but the leaf was right there! I guess he just wants the notes. He has to jump out of there. Interesting, I guess he's gonna do this normally. Most of this place. Like without any without many damage boosts. Taking damage is illegal. Yeah. Oh, he just barely missed the leaf. Only he jumped out of the, the trunk where the boots are a bit earlier. Get him right Same as the pause noise, yeah. Alright, what is he gonna get on the timer here? I'm gonna say a 9. Actually, no, I'm gonna say a, a, a 7. 7. 7. I'm saying 7. Ooh, he gets that cycle. 19. Alright there, bud. Okay there, bud. I feel like he's gonna take the last section really, really safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! Oh, I should- Oh, that was a 10. Okay. No one got it. I was close with my first guess, but it changed it. Yeah, he does, he does jump all the way here. This is exactly what you do now. You don't even leave Talon with a peck there. Oh, he missed! Oh, he's doing this strat! Hell yeah. Let's go. He's getting the Jiggy to spawn on him. Nice. This is the strat that's been done in runs for the longest time. 
I guess BGS is probably the exact same, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. This is likely going to be the exact same as we do in normal 100% runs right now. Actually, it's probably for... Except for... You might get some notes at the bottom here. As Banjo. But in general, it's going to be mostly the same because you have to follow the Croctuses. In order to just complete the level. We'll see, though. The waiting boots. I feel like I, I somehow I doubt that. No mud hut jumps. I was getting this token, eh? Alright. Alright, alright. I see it. I see this. Jump back. Big jump! Alright, sick. Now, is he gonna get the notes at the bottom here? I'm assuming not. Alright, alright. Nice damage. <laughs> You could tell that he tried to jump there, because he was sliding on the down downhill slope per portion of the shock pad, which makes it harder to jump. Alright, second pair of wind boots, although this is, like, pretty optimal in most, in, in some routes, certain routes. So far, his route's like exact same as what we do now, basically. Nice gold feather. Look at this gold feather routing, dude. That's the gold feather that we get in modern day runs, no if them runs, because the gold feather route is tightened that. What a genius. Is he gonna get those gold feathers? I hope not. Please don't. He did not slip abuse in Mumbo's now. Oh, I could have made that for sure. If he shot that egg at that Croctus, he could have gotten hit by the buzz bomb during the cutscene. Although, I'm positive he doesn't know that you can move during the cutscene, so. Better safe than sorry, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go on the left side. Around, which is what we do now. What if this route is the exact same? What if this route has just literally never changed over the course of, like, 15 years over? Nice peck. It's actually not that bad of an idea to peck there. Because when you take a damage and talent shot into the water, uh... Then your your animation for when you take damage is very very slow compared to taking damage out of Talon Trot. So it could save a bit of time there, but the amount that you have to travel after you take a hit probably makes it not worth. But that is something that I didn't think about. Oh god, it's the toxic tips again. <laughs> oh no. Wait, did it not show the third one there? Am I blind? Oh, it did. I just wasn't looking. I was looking at the other screen. Wow. That was good RNG, too. All of them were so close to each other. Alright, next one. That's like... average. Let's see, did he say anything about BGS? said that... Where, wait, where did he say it? He said he hates our... <laughs> he hates the vile minigame. Oh my god, it cost me at least two practice runs. Maybe I just suck at it, but there seems to be a huge amount of luck involved. Not to mention a tie equals a loss. I guess that is true because, uh, he doesn't have species, so... This is very weird. He, most of his comments here are in the first, like, four levels. I don't know why. He does say in his um in his description that the answer to the grunt questions are random, so he did know that. Um 
and he did say that he talks to three Brentilda so he wouldn't have to totally rely on chance. So he talked to first the first one. I wonder where the other two are gonna be. Nice go for you. Spoilers. Now you guys can, can think about where they where they're gonna be. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be one at the Quick Lockwood puzzle. And Maybe, I don't want to say before Cliff Lockwood. Maybe the one behind Gobi's Valley. It's not a bad one to get. Hey, yeah, Gogo had the same guesses as I did. CCW puzzle should be there. It's a pretty decent one. Could also be the one before Cliff Lockwood, which is in the lobby. It's on archive.org. It's been known about for like a good bit. Also SDA, yeah. I got it from archive.org. Two, nice. Let's go. As you can get, there's a seven, I believe. All right, playing it safe. I guess one interesting thing is that the fact that there's no death warps means there's absolutely no need to look at health management anywhere other than to just not die. 18 tokens, okay. That's a lot of tokens. Actually, it's not that many. I feel like normally you'd have like 10 here. After transforming. Still no room. It's easy to stop. Oh, no chomping as the croc? Unfortunate. Nice gold feather. We have this gold feather riding, what a god. Doing Mumbo Skull the way Nade does it mean the slow way? Nade. <laughs> no chomping, no chomping. Chomping actually saves a good amount of time. Just in the final hut section alone, like from the Jinjo to the like last five notes, if you don't chomp there, in that short of distance, you'll lose like half a second. I've timed that before. Chomping saves a good bit. Alright, here we go. Getting the token play minigame. Well, to be fair, he does say in his description that he hates vile minigame a lot. But I'm... Maybe he's not gonna get anything. But he does get the gold feather, that's what I like. Out of all the, the NoFFM tournament matches, I've always said you should at least get that gold feather. That's the most worth thing there. Other than the, other than the token, of course. Looks like he's in a good lead now. He's gonna get any collectibles? Oh no. Yeah, and yes, Seth Offended is fine. It is true. Alright, nice. He gets 33, that's pretty solid. But also, to be fair, he didn't detour for any collectibles except for the gold feather, so. Makes sense that he had a lot more than most people usually do. Almost 35. 35 does give you an extra life. Round 2. Oh, 
and you don't death warp. Yeah, that's true, actually. He's not gonna death warp at all, so... He's definitely entering here with a lot of health. Maybe that's why he didn't damage boost through any of the mega sections. But also that might just be because he didn't... He didn't damage boost anymore, so... I don't know. I think he'll fail once in the final air set in the final volo section. I hope not. It's pretty good starting out. Looks like he doesn't know that uh he doesn't know when the counter changes. It does seem that way. Wow, that counted? Surprise. Uh... Jesus Christ, that's close. <laughs> oh my god. Didn't lose. It was close, but he didn't lose. Interesting how he got one note before he left. <laughs> Still no chomping. Unfortunate. Actually, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, the fact that he doesn't chomp might mean that getting the Jiggy earlier is faster for him, since it's less distance as the crocodile. Since he's traveling slower as the crocodile. So it's probably the fastest thing for him to do. Pretty cool. Chomping is faster, yes. By a good bit. And <laughs> his marshmallow coming back to BK. Now he has to do the walk of shame. That is true, he does have to walk all the way back. Getting that getting getting it now would have been for sure worth it. Looks like he's <laughs> The fact that he changed the camera there like that makes it look like that. He was, he was like looking or where to go. Alright, he's out. 5720 BGS. Alright. It's a Napa's house in the winter. True. But that's what they do in like Xbox and Emulator still, so it's not that bad. We're gonna open <laughs> FP as the crocodile. Alright, let's go, let's go. Cheeto, perhaps? They do this in some run. Actually, they don't do this in a run. Uh, in any percent no FFM, they open FP after BGS, but as Banjo. And by they, I just mean Sunday. Hello, Lehman. Morning. Morning, morning. Damageless stress. Oh, they do this in damageless? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alright, they're out of here. What if he talks to this Brintilda? The Brintilda in the left log here. Hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Still jumping in the D transformation trigger. Yep. What can you do? Oh, I, th I thought he was gonna go talk to Dapper until the first second there. Oh, is he gonna use the urn? The vase? I guess he is. It's interesting. Obviously it's the intended strat. But... Who knows. He's not getting the button here. Maybe he's just gonna open the coffin. That could happen because if you open the coffin and go- Coffin? If you open the coffin in Gobi's Valley with the witch switch, 
You can skip the shock pad button, and it only loses like one second. To just hit the witch switch instead of the, the shock pad button. Because then you can just backflip Beak Bust for the Jiggy instead. Alright, Gobi's Valley next day. Alright. So is he gonna go to Gobi's Valley first or FP? You should go to FP first. At the very least because, um... The, the move is a lot closer to the start of FP. Okay, yeah, so he's going to FP, good. This large movement doesn't really make much of a difference if you open Gobi's before or after FP. It's basically the same movement. Same lines, essentially. Oh god, I got- I fully thought he was gonna do Twin Peas right there. Alright. Getting all the feathers, alright. <laughs> Look at this route. Look at that slide, optimal slide. He's just gonna leave right now. Looks like he is, I think. Came here for the feathers, the token, and the move. Heading out, alright. What can you expect? Honestly. I feel like you gotta be at least a four head, at least a four and a half head in order to in order to get stuff in FP1. It's not easy routing to do. FP is a difficult level to route. Everything's so spread out and out in the open. Now it's time for Gobi's alright. Sick. An FP2. Yeah. What do you mean an ESFFM? You mean a no FM? Oh, oh, you mean like the same route as ESFFM. Or similar route. I highly doubt it'll be the same route, but you get the same stuff. Oh god, not jumping up the slopes. It's actually unfortunate. Uh, he jumped up a lot of slopes before, and he even mentioned in his run description that he thinks jumping up slopes is faster. But other people have convinced him that it's not faster, so he didn't do it. In some places, at least. Is he gonna get this token? Of course he is. Right in the open, how can he not? This token's actually only one second, if you do it right. The fast way to get that token is to jump from, like, near where the eyes are for Jinxie, and then peck to get the token. And it's only a one second token like that. It's actually really fast. Nice talent shot. Hey, this is what Trinan does, I think. Kind of. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go inside of Jinxie. What Trinan does, I believe, is uh, gets a paw note on the way inside. <laughs> Marshmallow. Where's he going? Alright, inside Ruby's. Let's go. That looked sketchy. It doesn't look like he knew where that beak bomb was gonna head. If you press A with the neutral joystick, or if you're holding slightly down on the joystick, then it'll be very deceptive where your beak bomb will go, because it'll aim to, for the center of the screen, but usually most people think that it, it aims higher than it actually does, because they don't know how to hold up. They don't know to hold up after pressing A. Oh, I almost got it. Oh no, he's gonna waste all those eggs. Alright, you got it. <laughs> Not bad. Honestly, I wonder if this is faster, just in general. Probably could save a talent trot in no FFM. Because, like, what if you 
enter this room, because normally in FFM speedruns, you enter this room without talent drop, but in no FFM speedruns, you enter this room in talent drop. So, if you enter the main room in talent drop, get all the notes, and then poop the eggs into the thing, then you can, like, roll out into the talent drop in the loading zone as you go out. That would save a talent drop over what we do now. I wonder if that would save time. Sounds awful, though. <laughs> Holding up is a hard strat. Yes. This is an interesting route. <laughs> That's a good clip. It's a good clip right there. I wonder how many times Gobi's Valley has had a route change from now, from, from here, until all the way now. <laughs> probably a lot, probably like, at least like, 20 <laughs> or something. Look at this pattern. Okay, he's getting the token first. He's getting the notes next, alright. That's an interesting pattern. God, I wonder if he, he has to have this written down or something. This is such a weird pattern to go for. <laughs> Alright, he does, he does end in the middle, that's what matters I guess. Mostly. Oh, the ABC challenge. Yeah, the ABC challenge is so cool in this spot. So you have to pause buffer like a million times. That'd be a cool thing to showcase. Get Cow Guy here. And showcase the ABC fully. Yeah, the whole ABC is insane. God, look at that! Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't peck. I was almost calculated. Almost. Calculated carpet. Isn't it done now? I thought it was done. Nice redundant redundancy. Thank you. Ty, thank you, Sunder. Ah, uh, no speeches in the sand. Oh, he's not even gonna get them now, eh? Alright. Kill him the scabby for health, alright. That's so weird that he gets all the notes in, like, these sand- in, in these, like, hazardous floors without- like, with waiting boots everywhere. He's probably gonna use, like, the waiting boots for the brambles and click clockwood as well, then. I wonder if he'll use the waiting boots for the water and MMM around the well. That'll be interesting to see. Even though health is scary. I guess if you don't get health from the death warp, then it is quite scary. Water pyramid time? Alright, alright. Let's go. Look at these wide turns. Mix it in at zero. So sketchy. The, way, the thing that makes it easy, that part very easy, is if you just jump back after climbing up half the slopes. We didn't do that any, any at any part there, so. Uh, 
really dumb because of the drop slide. Maybe. I don't... What he says here is that... Uh... Says he's fairly certain that jumping in open is faster than pure talent shot. But one of his, like, friends disagreed with him. We'll just say that he is 99% certain that leaping up hills or inclines greatly increases speed. What's actually also interesting here is that one of his comments was that you can you can talent trot, jump, and perform the ratatat move in the air. I did not know about this until I began to speed run. And Cyberhead pointed out pointed out pointed it out to me. It has some interesting applications. You can do it on a slope or a raised surface to immediately return to banjo, for example. So he, he did know about that. Because I assume that means that he knew about leaving talent trot with a peck. That's interesting. Because in a lot of places he leaves Talon Shot without pecking. But in very few places he does. It was probably just against his muscle memory considering he didn't know it was a mechanic. Oh, he got the thing. He shot that egg in right when that head was turning the other way, which means it didn't work. Unfortunate. Maybe, but he also has done it while he was sliding before in like TTC. Alright, will he do a maze skip? I doubt it. Highly doubt it. He just, that, that was like a little tease right there. He went to the left side, which is the side that we go to in order to do it. To do the maze skip. And then he went the other way. Okay, so he's gonna beak bust this. Oh shoot, does that mean he's gonna backflip Peak Bust for this Jiggy? Instead of hitting the shot pad button? That'd be sick to see if he does it. He does indeed know A route. Look at this money in the way. <laughs> Being absolutely bullied. Nice. Nice labyrinth. Sandy Bucks maze. Also getting the, the Jiggy in town shot. But to be fair, I feel like he knows they're out, like, the actual layout of the maze more than, like, at least 80% of the runners. Probably eight, probably 90, honestly. Since all runners now just skip it, they don't know the layout of the maze. Ah, back to Gobi. Oh, he's all the way out of the maze. Maze, nice. It's slower by one second, Thunder. Oh, he didn't get this G with the speed shoes. I guess he wasn't. I guess he never has gotten a G with speed shoes or waiting boots. <coughs> yeah, go go does. <coughs> That's just route. Normally, you should just jump. On top of the maze, so called route. <laughs> but there is a better way that he could have taken. More into the middle. Oh, he gets cactus ring! No, he's gonna go th fly through all the rings. No, this isn't the way, man. This isn't the way. Please, beak bomb at least. Beak bomb. Do it. Beak bomb. No! <laughs> Oh, he still has to get these notes as well. Is he gonna go to these boots right now? Oh, he has to go all the way there, dude. Holy, that's so far away. Yes, he beat bomb once. Let's go.
Okay, he's going to Gobies. Damn, I guess he did get good RNG then. Alright, <laughs> made a detour for that honeycomb. Look at this route. <laughs> Look at this route, dude. <laughs> Skips to Jane Jake, let's go, dude. Taking flight again, alright. Oh my god, this route is so scuffed. Why did he wait so long to beat bomb? Oh my god. That was. That last 30 seconds, dude. Holy, what did I just watch? You went from the beetle ring all, all the way to the honeycomb and the cactus, all the way to Jinxie's back for the jiggy, all the way to the alcove. For Gobi's honeycomb. Now all the way back to the waiting boots. <laughs> Damn. Insane. What a route, dude. Insane. Gobi's Valley World Tour, yes. They're purging routes ahead of his time. Indeed. No jumping in the waiting boots either. But. That's something that a lot of people don't do anyways. Right now we're doing Jinxie, alright. This this note first, eh? Oh, he's getting both? Alright. No more talent for eh? Alright. I guess he's just playing safe. Honestly, even though his routes like god awful, he hasn't made many mistakes. As far as I can tell at least. But I guess that's because that he plays it very safe everywhere. Something you notice with these runs, they don't have many mistakes because they just play it easy everywhere. Getting all the eggs. He didn't need any of those actually. Because he already shot all the heads. And now he's just leaving, alright. Oh, he's getting the Jinjo Jiggy now, alright. For the tolls? Maybe. That'd be pretty crazy for the tools in RBB. That'd be insane. I haven't seen that. Actually, I have seen that in a good bit. Go. And the gold feather. I like that gold feather. This guy's this guy's on it with its gold feather management. Go 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 is right. The the <laughs> run till the behind. Gobies. All right, all right. This Brentilda is so laggy. Because behind Gobi's Valley is like 20 FPS. You lose so much time. People actually used to get this Brintilda sometimes also because it refills your health. And it's good that it refills your health because you can enter Gobi's with full health, which makes Gobi Clip a tiny bit easier. But the lag makes it not worth. Wait, so he hit- No! <laughs> He's getting the shock pad button as well! Oh no, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he's doing both. Oh, he's getting the- Okay, yeah. <laughs> That is true, but he's not gonna backflip for this, is he? His pattern is solved. No, <laughs> he missed. He still didn't beak bust. It's kind of funny because he doesn't- I'm pretty sure based on a couple- small movement things, like right there, and for the honeycomb in Mumbo's Mountain above Juju, it seems like he doesn't know that beak busting gives you extra height, but he did beak bust for the note uh, in TTC in, th in the third flight section. So it's interesting that he did it there, but he, didn't do but he doesn't apply it anywhere else. Alright, he's back here. Floats. Yeah, it's just in the air. That's why you need the shock pad to get it. Usually. 
Casually, at least. I remember seeing this, uh, Let's Play on YouTube. That was so hyped about getting that jiggy to, to like, the, the way that we do it in runs. For the no RBA route, where you just roll into his cheek and grab it. But the Let's Play or whatever was on Xbox. So they tried for so long and they couldn't get it. Little did they, did they know that they could just shoot an egg. That's a good question, Sam, but why didn't you just get, get it as a bee? Alright, will he get the, the, the token here? Token in this corner. No, okay, good. Could get it later, though. He does come back here later. Just has to open MMM. Good old MMM. Chomp jump, maybe? Damn, it says here that his Goey's value was 14 minutes and 55 seconds in game time. In just, like, RTA time, right now, a 9.30 is, like, a, a really fast time. It's probably, like, sub-9 in-game time. So that's, like, 6 minutes, probably. 6-minute difference right there. And just Gobies alone. But that makes sense, based off of his route. And just movement, I guess. I'd say half from each. Half route, half, half movement. No quick dive. Oh no, no quick dive here. That's gonna lose him like five seconds. <laughs> There's been no accidental quick dives anywhere. I guess there's technically been like... No, there hasn't been. He's walked off an edge while getting out of Talent Trot at the end of TTC, but that doesn't count. Alright, MMM. Unless he goes to FP. He did one? Where? Oh, yeah. The end of TTC. I guess I know the, the, the level order, because he lists his level order on his description. Like, I like his walking down. Alright, time for MMM. Yeah, to the token. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. At the end of TTC, he did one like that, there. But that doesn't count, that wasn't a quick dive. Xbox 100% no FM order, yep. <laughs> this is a combination of all the worst aspects of every route. <laughs> yeah, his FP, his FP though was just like an FP1. Oh boy, which where's he going? I thought he was gonna break that window for a second. He goes all the way around for this, really? Damn. <laughs> nice killing that to the TV. I like that. I'm very surprised he went all the way around for that instead of just jumping over the thing. I like how he went beside that wall. I haven't seen anyone ever stand beside that wall ever. Oh, hi, Prack. Can you commentate? Why, why do you want to commentate? <laughs> also, I like that gold feather he got. The gold feathers in the barrel. <laughs> this guy has some serious skills with gold feather management. Getting all the gold feathers. All the gold feathers that you don't get in normal runs. Sick. Alright, all the notes before Tumblr, alright. Okay, I guess not. Only half the notes before Tumblr. Then in the middle. <laughs> I feel like right there, 
he didn't move at the beginning of that cutscene, but then he like touched his joystick and then he started moving. I feel like he learned in that moment that you can move during that cutscene. <laughs> Could be wrong, but it's funny. The well as Banjo, probably. He's gonna have to leave as the pumpkin. He isn't Tumblr right now. Oh god, He's taking a hit. Oh my god, he does not know any good order for this. He's gonna leave from Tumblr, so he's either gonna go towards the church or probably towards the fountain area. Unless he just leaves back out. Who knows? He could also go back to the mansion. Twenty-four. Let's go. Well, we should we should have guessed on that. Okay, yeah, he's going to the fountain area, but is he going to go to the well first? That is a question. Okay, he's not. Unless he goes for the boots. Does he know the Mott's head pattern? That's actually a really good question. I feel like he might not. Oh, did you see that? He walked off the high platform and got into, got into Talon Trot as he was walking off. That was optimal, dude. Optimal for for him. <laughs> that was sick. All right, now he's gonna be going to the church. It's interesting, he he hasn't done anything inside the mansion yet. Usually, the mansion comes before the church. You got a three. I feel like a lot of people do get threes uh, in normal runs. The best you can get is 4. If you're on PAL, then you can get a 5. Oh, he's gonna kill the team. Alright. Respectable. He has the gold feathers to, to use, though. That's not a big deal. Oh, he's killing both of them. <laughs> Why is he going... Oh, God. <laughs> he went to the... Left pew first, the left close one, then the right close one. <laughs> and now the left far one. I guess now it's the right. Left as of entering the church. Oh god, why do you do this order? <laughs> that order kind of pisses me off for these notes. How many total you used in RDP? I think you only need use too casually I think so I'm gonna say two okay so he does not know the Matsun pattern <laughs> all right this is gonna be fun we're gonna see Matsun play his little song It's kind of funny though because he kn he knew the the matching pyramid pattern. He was able to do that easily, but I guess there's no instructions for that, so he sort of had to know it. This one he's able to just follow it along, not have to put in the extra effort. It's almost done. Three more keys. <laughs> I wonder how much time loss this is. Doing this like by following him instead of just doing it as fast as you can. It seems like a lot of time loss. Thought the order changes. I feel like a few people thought that. But you don't know anything in a casual playthrough, so. Can we get the jiggy now? Yeah. 
It's actually not that bad of an idea. In general. That only loses like two seconds compared to doing the optimal way. Can't wait to win three channel points. I would predict, but I'm on the I'm on the Banjo Race account, so I can't predict because I have infinity points. <laughs> he held R to make the camera straight before he started to move. Genius! Look at that camera control. Everyone can can take a note out of out of Marshmallow's book. Fix your camera before you move. Dang it! Gold feather dies off. That's sick. <laughs> I did not expect to see that. What a genius! He gets that gold feather just so he can gold feather dive off. It's amazing. You would not expect that. Oh, he doesn't poop an egg into the pot now. This is an interesting order. The roof notes. I guess he's not gonna. He's gonna jump in a different direction afterwards, probably. Going all in last minute, oh boy. Yeah, he does this like a lot of runners do this do these notes this way. Safe way. Oh my god, he got that jiggy with the laggiest camera possible. <laughs> oh he's gonna slide off right here. I guess that was intentional, but I bet he probably doesn't know that you can jump from the roof to the like lower platform and stay in down with rot. This is an interesting route. <laughs> Okay, he's doing the he's doing the magic stuff now. All right, let's go. Usually, this is the first thing he even runs. Now, he's doing like three quarters of the way through M M M. Oh, he's going to the left. All right, I guess he didn't miss the note. Look how save he is here. This is interesting, wait. So he knew that he can jump or, or like walk under the Chompas in Clanker's Cavern, but he doesn't know that he can do that here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. There's a lot of weird things like that I've noticed. Like, he knows something about one spot or he does something unique that can apply in a lot of places in one spot, but he doesn't do it in a lot of other places. Oh, if only he went faster, he could have got that token without taking a hit. Alright, he gets that first. Makes sense. A lot of people do that. He does shoot an egg for that instead of that. that I like that. He saved a talent shot entry by shooting an egg there instead. Instead of uh, pecking the door. It's a smart move. Alright, in time for the maze. No, he's not gonna do the hive jump because he broke the he broke the gate earlier. <laughs> Splitting the four notes. Yep. People used to do that actually, but. They would get the other two notes of the pumpkin, I think. Damn, he really doesn't like these T's. Guess he didn't want to get hit when he was getting that. Baby. <laughs> he can't get hit. Not that it would matter too much. Ooh, no maze token. Eh? All right, all right, all right. Big boy strats. No maze token. 
Time for the pots. Cheater room? Oh shit, dude, let's go. Got <laughs> the token blankers. That is true. Look at all these collectibles. He's stacked. He's prepared for the rest of the game. What a legend. No. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna take a while. Alright, he's just gonna kill all of them. That makes sense. <laughs> Got confused on which gravestone to go to. I feel like this is... All these levels, I feel like... It's so off of like what we do nowadays. I wonder how long like these routes stuck around before they got changed. Uh -huh. <laughs> got the chickiest banjo. What can you do? It's 34 tokens though, that is a lot. But you just have to transform into uh, the walrus still though, so. Needs 15 for the walrus transformation, then another 25 for the B. Token route looks not bad. I hope he doesn't get many extra. It is a bad token route, obviously, because he got the one in Clankers, but... Looks like he at least has something in mind, maybe. Unless he gets extra. Get the one in the RBV lobby. Yeah, that is still up for grabs when he goes to RBV. More gold feathers, oh boy, let's go. Get him these ones as well, hell yeah, let's go. He gets the side ones in the engine room. That'd be so funny. He probably won't though. That'd be sick. Going the long way around, alright. The calculator was not invented yet, but he does talk to three Brentildas, but just for the sake of like having a chance. Like he doesn't enter it into a calculator or anything, he like writes it down or something. He talks to three Brentildas and gets three answers from each. He's talked to two so far. He talked to the one uh, beside the TTC puzzle and he talked to the one behind Gobi's Valley. There's a damage that's running away. True. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. That's what people used to do before. Calculator, though. The people didn't get any windows before the calculator. They would just guess. Death scores are scary. Damn, so I guess he is going to do the well as the pumpkin. Look at this. He's a man ahead of his time. He's not getting these gold feathers? Are you serious? Oh my god, I'm triggered. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he gets the gold feathers in the, in the, in the portrait room with the honeycomb, but not those gold feathers. Those gold feathers are so good. Time to walk all the way out. Unless he gets them right now. Which would be a bad spot to get them. Okay, he's not. Alright, done with him, and man. Time to leave. Look at this line he's taking. He's following that shadow for that perfect line. He has a genius. And he's out. What an MMA. What an MMA. Great. Yeah, there's no death corpse in this room. He's gonna get hit by this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Twice. Yeah. Sounds oh no, he's jumping down. Don't jump down. He didn't jump anywhere except for here. Hello. Oh my god. Time out. What's that? I don't know what that reward is. I time you out for one minute. Alright.
<laughs> there you go. He's not gonna reset here, no, he's gonna transform back. Resetting... I believe resetting wasn't allowed back then. He said he was following SDA rules. So he's just gonna walk back, but this isn't actually that slow. Depending on where you're going afterwards, um, it can be faster actually than resetting. But the only reason we do reset is to get the clankers jiggy. But overall, if you take everything into account, this is only like 7 seconds slower or something like that. It's not even that bad. Yeah, that would be cool. We have other showcases planned eventually. I don't know when we would do them. One of them's a an old Banjo Tui Cheeto percent run, which is just any percent with cheats. That was done in like 2005, and it was done by Cool Boy Man. But he and he said that he would agree to commentate over the run if we ever, when, whenever we decide to show it off. That would be cool eventually. Because he's still around. Time for FP, oh boy. <laughs> like a nice peck into the level. It doesn't do anything because you always automatically leave Talon Trot when you enter the levels. Because he's also skipping these notes from now. Alright, let's see this route. Twinkly's alright, alright. Is he gonna do these casually? I assume he is. Oh, he has the strat! He has the strat down! Let's the first one get eaten. What a genius. Ooh, that was close. This guy knows what he's doing, dude. This is how you do Twinkly's casually. This is the way. I'm very surprised by this. You don't need to hit anymore. Skip the last one. Oh no! <laughs> you could have done it. Could have done it. Damn. Yeah. It works for 100% glitch, glitch list, yeah. That's the strat. I didn't know that he did it though. Look at him aiming. <laughs> aiming strats, let's go. Pretty funny. He doesn't use R. Oh my god, I almost got sniped. I'm also assuming no yellow star. Is he gonna beep bump through though? Oh, he's not. He's just gonna fly through. Not the worst. Three times, yeah. No beak bust either. So far, this is like modern FPR. That is true. I wonder if he's gonna beak bust here though or something. We'll see. No, it looks like he's going to the buttons. How crazy would it be if this is the exact same? I bet not, but... Be crazy. Okay, he went to the left. He's gonna get the snowman now, I think. Yeah. Oh, why didn't he- wait, why didn't he beak bomb? <laughs> he had it! That was like a perfect aim. Beak bomb. What is he, what is he doing? I guess he's trying not to get hit. He's playing this so safe, dude. This is crazy how safe he's playing this. 
I was playing this safe, yet this is still probably faster than a lot of other runners who failed it. <coughs> Conditioner. Look at this safety. You're gonna wait till it throws, okay. Don't miss! Oh my god, he was so close to that. He's going to the scarf now. I think I tried this reroute once. In no FFM. I believe it was like only a couple seconds slower. Going to the scarf right after the snowman. Nice walking up the scarf. If you just jump up the entire scarf, that loses like a second and a half in isolation compared to if you just like ran down the scarf. So walking up the scarf will lose like at least like three seconds or more compared to walking down. We'll definitely lose at least like two seconds compared to jumping. Okay, he's getting the pipe chicken out. Okay, so now he's gonna get the sled, right? We do always skip the skip the notes, actually, at the beginning. In FFM run we do. Actually and no FFM run as well. We ginger for later, alright, alright. It's an interesting strategy. <laughs> He's going for the double kill. Let's go. Oh, is he gonna jump down to the blue ginger? That's actually what you would do in the 100% no FM route without RBA. The blue ginger? Yeah. Nice. Except in the 100% no RBA route, you would go to the snowman's legs afterwards. Now he's just gonna go to the sled. Nice token. Hey, the Jiggy's in a good spot. It's in the FFM standard spot. Does he have all the presents? I don't think he does. He has to get the tree one, doesn't he? Yeah. He didn't go inside the tree yet. Yeah, or the green one. That's true. Oh my god, he's lost. Hey, this is the jump we do in normal FF no FFM. He's getting all of these. And he's going to Mumbo's? Oh shit, this is like the, 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 like the exact same. <laughs> That's it. This guy's ahead of his time. By years. 15 years. Yeah, I know, right? I guess it kind of makes sense since if you never death warp, then you're always gonna like carry the same amount of health wherever you go from level to level. So if you're low at the end of FP, then you're gonna be low at the beginning of the next level. Unless you just refill on the honeycombs. The empty honeycombs. I'm not gonna get- when is he gonna get the honeycomb after these? I guess so. Or I guess not. Is he gonna get that during the race? Probably not. What, but what if he did? I swear you can get that during the race. I know Sunder tried to get it during the race, but he didn't kill the snowman. Maybe you have to kill the snowman in order to spawn the honeycomb. He's farming for extra lives. That is true. That be true. But he's probably not gonna do any of the any of the clips. Oh, he's not gonna get those gold feathers. Okay, alright, then. 
Come on. Oh, I guess the honeycomb's not there. Huh. Just entirely. Weird. Is Banjo on his way to Boggy? I guess. That is kind of out of the way, but after he's transforming, if he does that right away, could. Look at this rubber banding. Damn, he took that so sick. Didn't get like anything during that race. to go inside the cave, right? Yeah, he has to- because he's not gonna death warp, so he has to get this now. Oh god, this sucks. <laughs> he's gonna go all the way inside of there, then walk all the way out, and he's gonna have to come back here later as Banjo. Get the Jinjo. Later. What a detour, man. <laughs> You guys get it like this in Damageless? Because honestly, in Damageless, you should just do Bogarus as a B. That's the strat. <laughs> Alright, he's out. He's getting all the notes now. Is he gonna get the notes around the present? Is Bulbarbus here? Probably his banjo. Actually, yeah, he's probably gonna get it as banjo on the way out after the race. Oh yeah, I guess it makes sense that you you give him the presents at the very end since he's not death warping, so he's just gonna pass right by the igloo at the end anyways. So he doesn't have to worry about anything. Okay, I can see why this route works for him, kind of. He's gonna get the honeycomb. I think then he's gonna do the race. And then he on the way out he's gonna get the notes around the present and then the notes inside the tree. Then he's gonna leave and give the presents to the kids. Probably. So what's what I'm assuming. Nice waiting boots. I don't think I've seen anyone use <laughs> these waiting boots. Damage the strats, I guess. Yep, he's getting this now. Oh, and the ginger, true. Taking flight? Oh shit. These boots exist. You literally see them whenever you enter or exit the, <laughs> the, the hut. I don't know about this decision to just fly to Boggy. I don't know about that one, Marshmallow. <laughs> you might want to rethink this one. <laughs> <laughs> what are the token? Yeah, okay there. Okay there, bud. Alright, here we go. I bet he's gonna stick behind Boggy like the other race. I honestly hate that strat. A lot of people do it. Oh, no jumping either. True. Oh, he slid off. That means Boggy's gonna go so fast. Dude, he's doing the advanced method. That's what we do in FFM speedruns right now. We slide off that second roof. So ba so, so Boggy like rubber bands super far ahead of you. And that makes the ending very, very lenient. This guy was ahead of his time by years. I thought I found that strat. No, it was Marshmallow who found it in 2004. Unbelievable. <laughs> You know, that was definitely unintentional. I'm not jumping. 
It does, yeah. But it also just makes the ending very, very easy. Because Boggy uh, goes really far ahead of you. And then by the time you're able to catch up to him, he's going really slow. So it's something that, like, honestly, like, beginners and novice runners should do. Just to not lose the race. It just saves additional time if you can do the proper note order. Yeah, time for these notes in the tree. Oh, he's also gonna hit the witch switch, isn't he? Is he? Probably, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. So is he hitting all of which switches? I think he is, right? Yeah, he is, I guess. Mumbo's TTC, Clankers, yes, BGS. Gobi's, yeah. FP, yes. MMM, he did. And you have to hit the RBB and, clank and click off wood ones. Damn. He wants the token. He, wants he, he still wants the token. He still wants it. Alright, you got the token. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to kill it. He missed. He got the token. I like this strategy. What he's gonna do? I think he's just gonna beak bust out after he gets this um jiggy. <laughs> he doesn't know where it ends. Damn! Look at this strat. Beak bust. Let's go. <laughs> Sick. I bet you thought it was so cool beak busting out like that. Like, look at me, I'm so fast. Alright, he's done with FP. Time for RBB. This will be a fun level. RBB in general hasn't changed too much. It has, doesn't have that many different routes you can do. Uh, but I think a long while ago they used to do it do RBB in like the reverse order that we do now. Because right now what we do is we go into like a big circle. I think a counterclockwise circle. I think what they used to do is they used to do like a clockwise circle. Be busting to exit the tree and missed it. Rip. Look, here's Boggy. Why did he just stand still there? <laughs> All right, all right. Sub two exit FP. Only two levels left. All right. I don't think it did exist. It's probably very close to a full damage this run. Probably is. Uh, I feel like if you were to give like a normal top runner the controller now, it could still get like a two forty, at least. Because all that's left is RBB and um, Click Clock Wood. RBB in isolation takes 10 minutes. Click Clock Wood in isolation takes uh, 18 minutes. So that's 28 plus the layer sections. But I guess he also does have the furnace fun. What's up, Robster? What's your question? Oh, he's not getting the. Where's he? Okay. He's not getting the jiggy in flight. That's unfortunate. I guess the FP jiggy first isn't a bad idea if you do it like this, because you can you can fly, continue flying. Now he can beak bump to the door, which is not that bad of an idea. The game and swap. Do you mean stop and swap? As far as I know, it just straight up didn't work. Oh, he didn't. Oh. My God. <laughs> Didn't get in flight. Just didn't work. It works on Xbox or something, but like that's for it wasn't like it doesn't do the original intended thing that wanted that was supposed to do. They're not the the stop and swap items aren't collected in the hundred percent speed runs because you only get them once per cartridge unless you use a game truck to erase it. In the Switch version. 
Honestly, it'll probably be the same thing. If it's just a port, it'll probably be the exact same thing as N64. It was going all the way around instead of using the post. No RBB lair token, that is true. So he has the, the entirety of RBB left. Uh, Click Lock Wood. Click Lock Wood would take like 22 minutes. Or like, oh, that one's take like 20 minutes for a runner nowadays. Um. So half an hour. And then. Just Furnace Fun and Grunty. Nowadays would take like. Six, seven minutes. So you could still get a sub 240 right now if you gave the runner to like a top runner and had like optimal splits for the rest of the run. But also he has to do the, the entirety of Furnace Fun, which will lose a good bit of time. I think that'll lose like 8 minutes or so. It should lose 8 minutes, but he's probably going to watch the entire fake credits, which is going to lose a lot more time than that. So we'll see. Yeah, he's gonna go slow the fans down, right? <laughs> yup. I actually used to do this long, long while ago. Good times. I did this for like four runs. Yeah, we're getting the fake credits and the real credits. Crazy, right? Look at this slowdown. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot clip back into Engine Room from that side as Banjo. I've tried a lot, you can't. Alright, time for our Engine Room. Let's go. What's up, Candy Boots? What's up, Rosanna? Morning. <laughs> I like how he's killing this guy. He's probably just killing this guy because when he leaves. That's actually kind of kind of cool. He's killing that guy because when he leaves, he's gonna have to walk past there. He could jump across the gap, but he probably doesn't want to do that or doesn't know he can do that. I oh, was gonna backflip for all of these. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, is he gonna get the token? Don't do it, bud. Don't do it. Okay, good. He's not gonna get the token. This is actually smart. I didn't realize this. This is actually very smart to do it this way. Because then you don't have to wait as much for um, the turning things on the way out of the way out of engine room. Uh, I think he just did a run and went. But also, I wasn't around in 2004, so I don't know. <laughs> I was three years old back then. Good times, good times. Oh no! <laughs> he gets hit! Oh my god. Oh my god, he almost gets hit again. That was so close. This is honestly probably faster for damageless. Er, sorry, glitchless. This order of engine room stuff. 2014, really? As who? I haven't heard of it. I'm speedrunning at three years old, yeah. Alright. Back in my day, he started speedrunning at one years old. Maybe you're thinking of Jumpman. I think Jumpman ran a lot in some early days, but then he came back in like one year, but then disappeared again. Yeah. Oh, he let go of Z. He could have done a quick dive there. Damn, I thought he was going to do it. I really thought he was going to do it. <laughs> 
So sad. No quick dive. You had the perfect opportunity to do it. You just baited all of us. He's <laughs> standing still for his health refill or his air meter refill. All right. Respectable. Zero tolls. Yep, that is true. What if he uses zero in the entire RB? Doubt it. But what if? What if, dude? What if? Alright, so what is he gonna do now? To the box? Then I, he can't really swim ac across. Unless he. Yeah, he's, so he's gonna go back to the beginning and use the bridge. He's gonna either use the bridge or the toll to go across. Probably the bridge, right? Yeah. Right? No, he's using the toll. Okay, alright. Toll 2, the first toll. Here's number 1. There's very likely going to be 3 tolls used, I think. Might be 2. It might still be 2, but... Could be 3. Didn't even shoot eggs into that toll a second time to get the token. Unbelievable, man. This is an interesting route for RBB. <laughs> nice backflip up there. I don't think I've ever seen anyone stand on that single box before. Is he gonna get the extra life? What is he doing? <laughs> he is getting the extra life. Let's go. He didn't get the extra life. No, he didn't. Never mind. <laughs> He just went the long way around. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> that was amazing. He went the scenic route. Great. Look, he surfaced. Right, does he just walk straight forward or does he kill him? Yeah, he kills him. Scuff note order. But he doesn't get hit. That, that That's honestly better than a lot of people do nowadays. Sticking to the right. He has nine lives. Damn. I guess that's what happens when you don't death warp at all. I'm gonna go to the yellow ginger now? Yeah. Yellow ginger than the honeycomb, eh? I guess that makes sense. Because you can't you're not gonna death warp in general. So you're gonna have to enter and leave the honeycomb room anyways. Wait for your health to refill or your air meter to refill. Alright. <laughs> Swimming all the way across above the water. Okay. I haven't seen this done. People used to just swim underneath. I like that jump. He didn't get into Talon Trot, but he does get a jump for the extra distance. So, somewhat of an optimization. Oh no, he misses. <laughs> Fine. Beak Bomb out, Beak Bust. Beak Bomb! <laughs> it didn't take him anywhere. <laughs> Is he gonna go through the lower hole here? Oh, he's not. There's a lower hole down there at the bottom that you can go through. I wonder if he knows about it. Probably not since he didn't go through it, since he's going this way anyways. Alright, so... He's gonna do this, and he's probably gonna... Uh, get the cage jiggy, I assume. Maybe he won't... Use the 
He's definitely using two. He's definitely using two pulls at least. I don't know if he's gonna use a third or not. Oh, he's using this now. Okay, he's gonna use three. Most likely. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Mind out of gutter. Look at this third blue crate. Oh, so when is he? When is he gonna do the the cage gym? Hello. Very interesting route. I think he's probably gonna do these three crates and then go back to that crane. Maybe. <laughs> it's stuck. I feel like he hasn't skipped a single J ginger jig jig, I don't think. He's done the dance for all of them, I believe. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't get the token? Oh my god. These are SHM strats! SHM doesn't get that token either. Oh my god, he was, <laughs> he's so close to that box. <laughs> that was, he, he, he wanted to beak barge in the direction of the ladder to give himself a tiny bit of extra time. Yeah, there's no shot. No way. Lifeboat jump. Absolutely not. He's getting this token now. Yeah, all right. I can respect that. Whistle jump, of course. It's a, it's a fundamental of Banjo Kazooie speedruns. I mean, the whistle jump that saves 0.3 seconds. In RBB. What is this order? <laughs> I despise this order. There's two ways you can possibly do this room, and they're both the same speed, and this is not either of those ways. <laughs> Because reasons, yes. Oh no, bully. Yeah, no oven token either, that's true. Maybe he just didn't want to get hit. But also maybe he doesn't... Like, yeah, that's actually really funny. He got the... <laughs> he got the, the token in that long pipe in Clankers, but he didn't get the oven token in RPB. <laughs> One token is a one second token, the other token is a 12 second token. <laughs> is he gonna jump off the hoist? No, he's gonna take the stairs. A wimp. Alright, what's the code? Three, one, two, one, two, one. Nice. Although he used a bad camera there, because... The way we do it right now is we have the camera so that the steam goes off screen. He had the steam on screen the full, the full time there. Oh, I thought he was going to backflip up. Oh, he's not going to. Honestly, that's not even that slow. Using that ladder there, it saves a backflip. Even though you have to climb a bit. I wonder how much slower that is. I want to time that, actually. Is he gonna get this token? Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> this guy's a troll. He's a memer. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> skip, the, <laughs> skip the token in the oven, in the kitchen, and get the token on the, on the second funnel in RBB. Let's go. He should get the one outside of RBB, to be honest. <laughs> 
that was good. That was a good meme right there. <coughs> There's a token in here too, isn't there? Is he gonna get this one? From the bunk bed? Uh, honestly, he probably doesn't know about that one. Where is he? Okay. I thought he was gonna go back into engine for a second there, I don't know why. This is an interesting way to do this room. Oh my god. <laughs> All the way down. Jesus Christ, that was so close to getting hit. Right, I've seen I've seen much worse from that room than what he did right there. A lot worse. Now he's going for the orange ginger, right? Right? Or boombox? Or the witch switch, okay, the witch switch. Oh, is he gonna jump all the way to that platform? Yeah, we <laughs> Quite worse. Probably not. Oh my god, that was so close. There's no way he doesn't use another toll here. He has to use another toll. Right? Because he has to go to the orange, Jinjo. Alright, I see what he's doing here. He's done no slope abuses. Absolutely none. The token behind that switch? That would have been a good token to get. That would be a mean token to get. So he's gonna get the orange ginger now with this toll, and then he's gonna go back for the boombox. And then I think he's done after the boombox? So many eggs though! <laughs> Eight eggs on this twisted path? Look at this. Three tolls. Who predicted it? Final jiggy jig. Or final jingo. Boombox will be his last Jiggy Jig, right? Yeah. Imagine if he gets Boombox skip. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy because he'd skip the 10th Jiggy Jig, too. We have to activate that first toll. <laughs> that first toll was so useless. No gold feather at all. Didn't jump in the water. But then how would he get back up, Gogo? -Go? You can't slope abuse. Oh shoot! He knows about this? Oh, he fills it anyways! <laughs> oh, and he's gonna go further now. I wonder if he actually did know about it or if he did that by accident. <laughs> Damn! That would've been so cool if he did that. If he knew about that back in 2004. Accident, you think so? I've seen people fail that by accident and then not leave and re-enter the deal properly. Man. Advanced. He's ahead of his time right here. I think now he's done with RBB. Got all the honeycombs, right? Yeah. Time to leave. What an RBB. That was a... 18 minute RBB? In game time was, yeah, 16.44. Yeah, an 18 minute RBB around. For him. Alright. Final level. Click Lockwood will be really fun. Actual 20 minute RBB. Yep. Yep. Well, right now, a really, really good split. For RBB would be like 10 minutes, sub 10 minutes. My gold for RBB is a 9.52. Yeah, it's a 9.52. It's about twice. It's not, it's almost twice as long. Almost. Time for CCW really, yeah. My person did it. Oh yeah, I can end that. He used three. 
How many tolls used in RVB? Zero to two? More. More. Use three. No leaf jump either. It's okay, I'll do quick clock order early. Without killing the raw guy too, can you believe it? Definitely doesn't have any gold feather or, or token routes in mind. What is he, what is he trying to do? Crouching. <laughs> Time. <laughs> what is in the BKs? Yep. It's ancient. Weird that he surfaced on that side. <laughs> Is this tunnel in the no FM tournament? They've met in like there's been like races who've, who've met in that tunnel like three times. It's actually pretty crazy. Like one person was leaving that tunnel, and one person's entering that tunnel three whole times. Oh, he also got that token. The token's not supposed to be in any route. It's supposed to be in the any percent route, but it's actually not that that bad of a token. It's like two, three seconds or something. Nice camera for it. Two runners in the same file? There is a BK online where you can have two runners in the same game. We've done that before. It is pretty clean considering it's 2004, yeah. Some places look pretty, pretty bad, but most of it's pretty solid. So he's gonna get this Brentilda? Right here? He is! Oh, okay. Alright. Collecting Dragon Teeth? Damn, he's not even reading the entire thing. My god. Dragon Teeth, Greasy Grant, Greasy Warthog is a pet. And he gets to refill his health. How many questions answered wrong in front of fun? Three, four? That's such a low- that's so low. I feel like it has to be more than four, right? There's a lot of- eh, maybe. Who knows, actually. I feel like I don't expect him to get even the normal questions right. Some of them. I wouldn't expect that out of a 2004 run. Alright, click clock. Already going to the right. Not getting a token. The any percent no RBA route. I <laughs> don't just the rest of the game. <laughs> True. High hopes. Alright. You do you. I feel like at least it's gonna be for like I'm going to questions for wrong. Who knows? We'll see. You can change it if you want. I don't mind. It's actually not that bad of a route. I feel like isn't this what they do in Xbox? Somewhat similar to this. They go to the right first, then do this flower, then go all the way around, then climb up. Why is he going to the, to the left? <laughs> He's getting this gold feather. Perfect gold feather to get. Let's grab this gold feather, let's not grab the one outside the well and then <laughs> That's so weird, like, you would think that he doesn't have a token route or a token route or a gold feather route in mind. But yet you see him purposely, intentionally go out of his way for these specific gold feathers and tokens that are so slow. It's so weird. Yeah, 10 at the end of P. Yeah, but... Didn't... Wait. I guess. 
But there's still like other go like he didn't get the one on top of the crane an RBB. And that was like right there. But I guess that was before he did Boombox and he used a lot of gold feathers there. Who knows? Inspiration? Uh I had an idea in general to just showcase a lot of old runs. And I picked now because it's right before the finals of the No FFM tournament. So it'll be kind of cool seeing like the first No FFM run, which is this run, followed by like the most recent routes for No FFM in the grand finals. We do have other showcases planned. Eventually, but we don't know when. The no FFM task from 2014. That could be a good one. That, that's a funny task to watch. I remember we wa all watched it once in a voice call before. That was fun. Is he gonna climb back down the tree? Don't do this. Gold feather down. I know you can gold feather down. I've seen you do it before. Oh my god, he almost just fell. Okay, he fell. <laughs> he fell into the water. It's so... <laughs> Why'd he do that? Damn, he got that without taking a hit? Dude, that was sick. I would not expect this runner to do that in 2004. It is creative, but like, we've seen him avoid fall damage in MMM by gold feathering down, so why didn't he do that here? Kinda weird. That was sick, though. Maybe he just did that specifically for the token. Specifically because of the angle that he could, could could get the token at. These leaves. Worked out for him. Maybe. Alright, this is a summer route. This is definitely a route. Straight for the worm. Oh god, he killed me. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna get hit. That was close. <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Did he get confused with which season he was in? Let's go up, go. Let's go up, go. Let's, let's, let's go up, Naughty's house and summer. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> All right, back to Gobi. <laughs> God, slippery Kobe. Nice pause. <laughs> Why did he pause? Why do you guys think he paused? For tokens? Gold feathers? Oh, it was gold feathers, wasn't it? Wasn't comfortable with seven. He needed eight. <laughs> Maybe. He did actually say um in his in his run description. Uh, where is where is it? He said around around the end of Freeze Easy slash the beginning of Rusty Bucket, he he really had to go pee, but he held it in for the sake of banjo fans everywhere. That's exactly what he said. I'll copy paste it in this in the chat too. This is exactly what he said. For the sake of banjo fans everywhere. What a guy. Thinking of his fan base.
he did it for us. Yeah. Some people have tried to go during Twinkies, but that's not a wise idea. Alright, he already did Gobi, so he doesn't have to go down now. I wonder if he's gonna jump down to the jiggy where the leaves are from the bridge. That'd be really cool to see if he does that. At this point, it's like, if you see one single thing that's unintentional, then it's like, whoa, how did he know that? He's gonna jump across? No, he's gonna get in and fall. He's taking this really safe. I wonder if he falls at all. There's like, there's like so few mistakes in his route. He takes it very, very slow, but there are so few mistakes. Pretty crazy when you think about it. Still no rolling, yep. He's gonna go inside of Nabnet's house, alright. Or what? Okay, he's leaving, alright. <laughs> Maybe he just got confused on the seasons. <laughs> Wait, don't skip that token! Why would you skip that token? <laughs> okay, he has 25, I guess, but like... <laughs> okay, alright. That's what you get. The, the fact that you got the token in Clankers, and that long pipe, <laughs> forces you to skip that token that's literally free. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I like that. Alright, now we're... Where are we heading, boys? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, he's getting the token! He got it! Let's go. 26 tokens. Let's go. <laughs> oh, now he's getting it. The, the Jiggy here, right? Damn. You're genius. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this routing skill. Look at these... His moves. What a genius. Alright, alright. And he's out. Pausing once again. That might be to check his note count. Maybe. He did get the Jinjo. He got it at the beginning. Yeah, the very beginning. I like how I answered that and you didn't even say Jinjo. <laughs> ah, yes. Perfect gold for that to get. Oh shit, this is the beginning of the... of the... of the... Yeah, the, the bit clip route. <laughs> this is like the exact same as the bit clip route so far. Is it gonna go around the tree? Or up? He's gonna go around. Oh shit! He's gonna get a mumbo's back though. He is okay. Now it's diverging. Now it's being a bit weird, unfortunate. But he does want the worm though. That is, that is true. He needs the worm. Actually, he doesn't need the worm. He's, or he might. Depends if he gets the worm after Naughty's place. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I was right. I told you. He would, he would use the waiting boots and the brambles here. And the clock. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> he got that gold feather in every season so far. That exact same gold feather that's in that spot. Got it in spring, summer, and fall so far. I wonder if he's gonna go all the way there in winter. Nice. I didn't even know that would be fall damage. Hello. <laughs> wow. There's a mistake. Finally. Finally a mistake. Oh, he's jumping into the wall. 
Coming into the wall there as you climb up that slope gives you a speed boost. It's genius. Mm. One mistake in two and a half hours. What's up, Eric's? Morning. This is still very similar to the Big Clip route. Okay, now it's now it's diverging. Tiny bit. Unless he goes around for the nose and then goes to Naughty's house. I think it's like basically the same. Is he gonna get these nuts and then go turn back around? Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Okay. Oh no, he's doing it. Why didn't he just go the other way then? <laughs> oh my god. It is actually. I think it's on speedrun.com. He didn't go to Naughty's house. Interesting. He'll probably go to Naughty's house after he gets the flower jiggy. And then he's gonna leave after that. I do have the final time, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Nice worm. Alright, he only needs two more. He only needs two more, but there's way more than two left in, like, up until Irie. Can you get this one? There's that nine. There's one inside of Nabnuts. There's the one uh, behind Irie. I guess he's just gonna skip that one, the one behind Irie. Ah, more walking. Blaze is so safe. Doesn't fall once. Or if, like, he, he did say that, uh, in his description that he did a few practice runs before this. So, this isn't his first run. But in general, if this like was his first actual run, it's not that bad actually. It's like most people who do who does like most people who do their first run will make huge mistakes. They'll die a lot of times. They'll like fall and click lockwood a million times. He hasn't died or fell like once yet. Which is pretty sick. What's up, cheetahs? Morning. Back in town, try. Let's go. Oh, he enters through the door. But that's like something you wouldn't expect anyone to know back then, I feel like, or think about. It's faster to enter through the window just because the window's above the ground, which means that you don't have to watch the animation of you slowly walking out. Like, that's too much thinking for 2004. Could you imagine being in 2004 and then just doing like the modern day, like any percent run? <laughs> It'd be crazy. People's minds would be blown. Right, gotta be in talent drop for this, yeah. Just invent time traveling, yeah, easy peasy. I wonder why he saved this one for last, this acorn. <laughs> I wonder how old this runner, this guy is now. <laughs> Like, even if he was at least, like, 18 or something, then it's been, like, he'd probably be at least, like, 35 or something. Probably on with his life. No. 
being a productive citizen in society. Who knows? Look at this lag. In this case, the lag is actually helping him because it's it's making the birds stay out longer. So he has more time to kill the birds. Pretty neat. Eleven worms. There's still one more behind Iris Nest that we didn't even get. Productive? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me about productive. I think I know what productive is. Put like 5,000 hours into this game. <laughs> Clearly the wrong person to ask. Okay, so now he's gonna go all the way back down the flower, then he's gonna go to Naughty's, and then he's gonna leave, right? Oh, he's gonna go all the way up here. Is he gonna get this? Oh, no, he's not gonna get this. Why do you, why do you back up there? Jesus Christ, that was so dangerous. Nice, Jiggy. Time for naughties. He did skip text in a good bit of places. Actually, it was kind of funny. In Mumba's Mountain, um, after he learnt eggs, he grabbed an egg and the egg text box appeared, so he stopped for like two seconds to skip the egg text before he went to before he did Kanga. We definitely knew it was a thing. But he, in general, throughout this run, there's a lot of weird things that he does where it's like there's a mechanic that he does in one place, but then he doesn't but then he doesn't do it anywhere else. He's done that a lot, I don't know why. Weird. Like pecking out of talent trot on the ground, uh, avoiding fall damage in places. Yeah. Falls and oh no. Honestly, this click clock wood is probably the best relative to like uh, new runners nowadays. Probably. Is he gonna get this? Is there a gold feather here in winter as well? Oh. Oh no, it's on that side. Right? Yeah. He got that one gold feather, uh, beside Mumbo. Mumbo's hut. In every season so far. Except for this season, so far. Which level was the worst? I don't know, they were all pretty bad. <laughs> I think Gobies. Gobies, he had such a weird route. Like, he got his final ring, which was the Beetle Ring, that was like close to Magic Pyramid, and he flew all the way to the cactus, uh, where the honeycomb is, to get the honeycomb. Then he flew all the way back to Jinxie to get the, the Jiggy on Jinxie's back. <laughs> and then he flew all the way to Gobies Alcove to get Gobies Honeycomb. Then he ran all the way back to the waiting boots to get the notes around Jinxie's back. <laughs> it was a very backwards route he did. Unintuitive route. That's what stood out to me at least. Oh, he's not getting that now, eh? Okay. I guess he's just gonna get on the way down. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Okay, now he kills him. 
Still want to be at full health. What's up, fair? Thanks for the raid. Good morning. GPD. Alright, yeah, so he is gonna get this GB now. So he's gonna go to Nabna's, Nabna's place now? Looks like it. Failed softlock? How do- oh no. It sucks. Did you fail? <laughs> Did you miss the backflip or after that? Quite unfortunate. After that, oh, okay. That sucks. It happens. That's why the backups are important. Learn. Is he gonna beak bomb this window? Do it, do it. Beak bomb the window. Beak bomb it. He's gonna do it. Beak bomb the window. And he tumbled inside. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Normally you- that's like so rare. Normally you would bounce back after beak bombing that. <laughs> Optimal. The intended way is to beak bomb that. But not to tumble inside like he did. That was sick. Now where is he going? The jiggy on top? Go up. Over here. That doesn't beak bomb a lot, I've noticed. She doesn't like his beak bombs. Oh my god. Oh, he's killing this guy. Why is he, why is he killing him? I guess he's gonna jump back down and he doesn't wanna... He doesn't wanna get hit by him. I guess that backflip... That backflip is not easy to do. It's so slippery and it's such a... Weirdly small gap where you can stand. Yeah, so I guess he just didn't want to get hit now. So he took that extra safety precaution. But not being in talent right here is not good because it's so slippery. <laughs> Alright, there he goes. On to go to Naughty's, I believe. I think that's the last thing in winter. I think he'll have a hundred notes here. He couldn't death warp though because he still needs gingers in spring two. The runner is very scared at the moment, yes. <laughs> that is true. No ice clip either. It does look like a damageless runner. It's like a mix between damageless and glitchless. An Xbox 100% no RBA, Xbox no FFM. 100% no FFM on N64. It's like a mix of all the routes, but the worst part from each route. <laughs> he didn't death warp. No, there's no death warps in this run. No dying. <gasps> Made it out. No drowning. He has taken hits in places though. On N64 you do Winter Clip 2. In Xbox you Death Warp. Um, but you can also do Ice Clip. I think this was Dango. Pretty sure Death Warps were banned. Resets were banned as well. May I think I think they were. I don't know. I know that resets weren't allowed. He said that he said in his description that he said that he wanted to stick to the SDA rules. Uh but he said that in the context of not resetting. Actually no, he said that Yeah, he said that it was against the rules to, to die. It says, as for the run itself, it is a world record in terms of a single segment without restarting. 
Bill Hughes claims a record of roughly five minutes faster, but he quits, saves, kills himself, etc. to skip a lot of time. I wanted to do that as well, but Radix, uh, which is just like some friend at the time, insisted that I stick to the rules of SDA and make it in one smooth run. So SDA rules did ban save quits and death warps. So weird. It's too sloppy and shorter ones. I guess that has some logic. If you want this, like, in terms of wanting there to be a standard of how good a speedrun is. <laughs> Oh yeah, he has to do that now because he has to leave. I think this is the only Jinjo Jiggy Jig that he's skipping. This is a transformation. He just did he? Oh yeah, I guess he does a crocodile. You're right. Forgot about that. One of the young ones. Oh god, that Robin and Hugh was so close. Oh, he's done with Click Clock. Why isn't he all- oh my god, <laughs> he's so slow. That slow flying pen. <laughs> Final Jiggy. Oh, he presses A so early there. Damn, son. 900 notes. Got it all. It's time for Furnace Form. Let's go. We're almost done, guys. We're almost there. If you gave this the controller to like most runners right now, you could still sub three. But he's gonna do the entirety of Furnace Fun, so he's not going to. Sub <laughs> three. Nah, bro. He's gonna watch the entire fake credits. You could reset out of the credits, but resetting is not allowed. So he's gonna have to watch the entire thing. <laughs> and we're watching it with him. What's up, Sakuri? Looks like he knows his answers so far. Went for the health that he didn't need. Alright. Click clockwood. Nice, nice. What did you do an impox skip? Which character has this dumb voice? Jam jars! I like how he goes around that health in case he needs it later. I mapped this out once to find the actual, like, optimal pathing. I forget what it was. I sent it, like, a picture I had before when he was in Glitchless. Inside a giant treasure chest, alright. He, he, he looked like he hesitated a bit on that one, but he did get it. Ooh, one wrong. I think it differed though, Gogo. -Go. I think there was like a difference in the amount of picture questions or something. Two wrong! Okay, that one he got. He got two so far. No, my zero channel points. Oh yeah, Lenin's in like one of those countries where you can't gamble on Twitch. What was the name of my pet doggy? Oh, three wrong. The answer to this one is it's ironic that he got that one because the oh the salt the tuna tuna that one, that one he knew because of the Brintel that one. 
The one with his pet, with her pet doggy. That one's a. Uh, I believe that one's the Gruntilda at the CCW puzzle. I think. Which of these ones? Yeah, click that one. <laughs> he's he's like hesitating. He's like scared. I hate how with the music questions, you have to wait so long before the music actually starts. It makes you want to just skip it even more. Highest thing above the ground, a muddy turtle. How many wrong is he at? Three? I think he's at three wrong. Picture question. Gobi's Valley. Three, okay, yeah. But two grunty questions back to back. Which is school? Ooh, we got that one right. Lucky. Ooh, he got that one right too. It's actually a close prediction. Nice. Cranky Kong. He hovered over it for a second. <laughs> Oh, he's doing the mini team too. And vile! Oh my god. <laughs> this is sad, dude. This is sad. This is not fun, dude. <laughs> oh, hey, now he gets to use speed shoes! Let's go! He <laughs> got one. He ate the wrong one. What if he loses this? <laughs> He has two speeches. True, 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 true. <laughs> you, you did call it. He did. Four rounds of wild. Crazy. Looks like he should have won. In the furnace farm minigame for Vile, it switches every 5 seconds instead of every 10 seconds. Alright. What's the code? Yes! Click! <laughs> Alright, no grunty question here. Mimbo Jimbo. Only two more! One of them's a grunty. Why not hold A and B? Listen, that's too... That's too much logic for 2004. Damn, so he only got three questions wrong. That's actually pretty crazy. Only three questions wrong. I guess that was a good prediction, Gogo. -Go. Five or less. How many questions answered wrong in Prince Fun? Five or less. Now we get to watch the entire credits. You guys ready for this? I'm not gonna skip it. <laughs> I'll actually be right back. Give me a second. Alright, we're back. 
Hammer is still running, yes. Hey guys, excited? Oh shit, for the grand finals. Hello. <laughs> Johns me doesn't even know. He doesn't what even What did know. you do? How did you manipulate the chat? It's so fun. It's funny because I can't hear Chuzmi unless I hear the stream. Oh, I can, uh, screen share this one. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god, how much longer is this going to take? You should have, uh, should have left the Clankers Jiggy for now. Clankers Lair Jiggy. That would have been cool. I'm muted on Discord? Am I? Oh. That's why that green ring wasn't going around my, my thing. <laughs> yeah, that's why, honey. Oh. That makes sense. I would spam in your DMs trying to ask you BK questions, and I remembered that it was the... <laughs> The, I saw that. I have Discord open. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was the run? Did he do good? Did yeah, he did board? amazing. Crazy. Yeah. Did he make like any huge mistakes? Actually, no. There was like no mistakes. Did he make like no big mistakes? There was like sm some small mistakes, but like he played it very safe. He didn't actually make many mistakes at all. Did, did they know good. you can hold A to make the questions go faster? Probably not. <laughs> How do they not know that? It was like, it's just a feature of the game. He apparently, apparently he didn't know that you can peck out of Talent Trot until like right before this run. So is he like the first person to speed, like actually try speedrunning the game that we know of? That we like, know of, yeah. It? As far as I know, yeah. Okay, that makes 2004. sense. 2004. And then he would put it on... What website did he post it for? Uh, SDA, I think. This is for SDA. But no death warps allowed, no resetting, no save and quit. Single segment, all that. Interesting. You should have seen his Gobi's route. It was so crazy. He he got his la- his la- he, he flew for all the rings. And his last ring was the Beetle Ring, the one next to the Mashing Pyramid. So he got that. Then he flew all the way to the cactus to get the honeycomb, like near Gobi. Then he flew yeah. all the way back to Jinxie to get the Jiggy on his back. Then he flew all the way to Gobi's alcove to get the honeycomb. Then he flew, then Did he, he beat ran... bomb at all or just fly? He beat bomb like two times. Uh, okay. <laughs> then he ran all the way back to the waiting boots to get the notes around Jinxie. He's so definitely gonna do dog skate. Oh, of course. Mission for Grunty Fight. This is a beef bomb. I feel like he has to. No, he doesn't. God. I wonder if they do the skip at the start of the grunty fight. Probably not. Yeah, like probably not. Eggs. I assume not. It's the deal with the credits. He has to watch and watch them because the only other way to get out of it is to reset, and reset resetting is banned in these rules. That he's following. So. But we also skip Furnace Fun now, so you don't. You only get the credits if you actually finish the last tile, right? Yeah. But when he um, when the credits are finished, he's gonna be warped back to Furnace Fun, so not that bad. If you were to reset, then you would like go back to the beginning of the lair section. Yeah. So now, like, if you do glitch list, we would just reset at the credits and then come back. Yeah. Because we don't have scuffed SDA rules anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we have Asmi's rules. <laughs> yes, my rules. Overlord. Big shot. Got this music. Yeah, it's been gone forever. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Probably not exact. Feels... It's probably yeah, around there. Because you have to do the entire furnace one and then watch the fake credits. Which is a lot. I think, um, if you were to just reset out of the fake credits, I think that's like eight minutes compared to Nimbox Skip. Yeah. I believe that the fake credits are like two more minutes, at least. So, did he, did he talk to Brentilda or did he just He did. Yes. He, he talked oh, to he three Brentildas and just okay. wrote down the answers. <laughs> yeah, so there's no calculator, yeah. obviously, so yeah, no he just had to hope he got those questions right. Yep. 
What are you doing? Interesting. It worked for some of them. He activated a cauldron? <laughs> oh my. He didn't exit <laughs> talent truck. needed to take the line. The good line. Over the cauldron. <laughs> good line. Not jumping. He... <laughs> he just he walks. Placed... He placed two pieces into the puzzle. <laughs> he forgot about Z. <laughs> <I> press Z. <laughs> Amazing. Six jigs left. Typical of the... Uh, I'm guessing he gets the... Double health? Great, right? Does he have to get the like, gold feathers like in all these t all these things here? I feel like he might. I don't know if he has to, but I feel like he will. Probably will. Everything. With double health. So the grand finals are in an hour or yeah, 40, 45 or minutes? 45 minutes. Or like 40 okay. minutes. 50 minutes, yeah, for 50 minutes. 6 15 p.m. 6 15? Ooh. Yeah. I don't know why they chose that time, but the time they're going at. So I'll end the stream after this for a bit while I set up. Okay. So he did get double health. This is true 100%. He said no stopping spot. No stopping spot. He got everything, man. Wow. Yeah. Even though he had like 30 feathers, yeah. Yup. It's true 100%. All nut doors cleared. All doors percent. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Grunty. Yeah, yeah, so he does another skip. Yeah. I wonder when that was discovered. Oh god. so weird seeing this. He is shooting eggs though, that is good. He's just rolling. <laughs> oh, he does, he, he does that in one phase though. Casually, uh -oh. you do that in like three phases. So that's good. So yeah, he, he did skip it. Skipped most of it, yeah. That was pretty fast. Damn, he has pretty good aim. You always see these runners who never hold R. Always miss Grunty. He's actually getting him. Okay, now I'm he's missing him. <laughs> EU aim! <laughs> Is he from it? Where is he from? Is he American? Uh, I have no idea. His name on What's his TV? social security number? What's his, social... his name on, uh, in the submission is David Kibbins. Sounds American. Oh. David Kibbins. David Marshmallow Gibbons. Probably not. He's also on, uh, NTSC, so... It's crazy because this is still like seven, seven or, or six years after the game came out as the first recorded run. Six years. People yeah. weren't they weren't speed running like when it came out, I guess, in the beginning. Yeah. Huh. So we're six years there. Are people, I don't. The game. The game was already if, old, kind of. Yeah. I don't know if people. Oh no, he missed one. All right, time to end. Oh. That was weird, Nestle. Miss a big bomb on Grunty, yes. Oh god, that was so low. Alright, nice big bomb. He only missed one though. Only one. It's actually much better than the US It's not bad. Oh, he got hit in the well, ground pounding. Yeah, cool. the air. It was weird. Right, he's choosing a side to go to. There's no overlap here. Wrong side. I remember when you, <laughs> I remember when you did this in like a PB pace run. You went to the wrong <laughs> side. <laughs> and I tried the eggs. Good times. What if it work? Oh, what? It can't work. Right? It can't work. Yeah, it spawns too late. <laughs> you just have to t do like a thousand eggs from far back, and hopefully. It yep. <laughs> If he got soft lock, so he would have to. I guess he wouldn't have to do furnace fun again. He would, he would have to die, but that's not allowed. So. <laughs> Wait, so dying is not allowed? If it's uh, I don't think. I don't know. If, it's very vague. He said yeah, because like death he could around. just like look. He could just like kind of just fall off and like how do you yeah. know? Like, I don't know if kinda... it was for like a purity reason or if it was for a reason of um. This is how good your speedrun has to be. Like, your speed yeah. has to be good enough to the point where it doesn't die. I think it might be a bit of both. Yeah. 
Otherwise, they wouldn't accept it on SDA or something. Imagine if it was like that now. You couldn't die. You have to have a run without dying or six seconds. <laughs> Your run has to be like sub 230 at least. Yeah. Then it's a speed run. Wanna be more quick here? Probably. At least for the saving quick for sure. Definitely for the the mighty Chinginator, wow. Here we go. I gotta get the time ready. It's funny because this is still like probably better than most people's first run. It is a lot better. This is so much better. <laughs> I don't know how many runs this guy did before this one. He said he's done a few practice runs. But this was his first official one, I think. And Wait, time. I mean, to be fair, it's probably like a hundred times easier. Like it, yeah, it's way easier. Right, so. he, didn't, like, he didn't make a single big mistake. Yeah. There were like zero big mistakes. The biggest mistake was that he accidentally missed a note on a tree in TTC, I think. Uh, and he just had to like walk back to get it. That was like 20 seconds or something. Was there any... Is there any clips or anything? Like... Uh, I don't they, think they so. go, Like, they probably get a... Oh, no, no clips, there are no clips the now. Which switch still? Which switch switch? The, and then Gobi is in the maze. No. He actually... He hit the witch switch in the maze, and he hit the shock pad button. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but he had to hit the shock yeah. pad button because he used the vase to get the BGS there, JD. Oh. Oh, true. He didn't oh, yeah. know about that the makes... shock pad trick, apparently. Oh, wow. <laughs> he entered Madman's house in summer and then exited railway. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, there's the Did showcase. Did you watch this beforehand? I didn't watch it. Or... This is the first time oh. I watched it. Oh, okay. So it was blind. Yeah, it was blind. That was a good showcase. That was messed. <laughs> that is the pinnacle of speedrunning. It doesn't get better than this. Mm -hmm. Marshmallow. I wonder what he's doing today. I wonder. You know he also I bet, he, ran... I bet he plays that Nickelodeon game that just came <laughs> All-Star Smash, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know he also ran uh, SM64 a long while ago, too, in like 2004. He had the record in that as well. Wait, really? He had SM64 record? Yeah, in like 2004 For 120 or star? 70 star, I think. Oh, okay. Which I think might have been 80% back then, but I don't know. 